Hello my friends and welcome to uh, another video with me Steve England Outdoor Learning. Um, it's on a sunny Sunday afternoon, we've had storms, horrendous storms and uh, I've had a chance to come out with my friend Harry Phillips and we're here at Kings Western Estate uh, in between showers and I'm just walking along this pathway here and I saw something that's caught my eye and uh, I just wanted to show you because this is something really good for fire. I'll turn the camera around guys and I'll show you. So look, I'm just walking along this lovely pathway here, a lovely track of some description, and Teddy's sat still, but look at, can you see those vines? That's what caught my attention. If I bring you closer, uh, we can have a look at them. There you go, have a look at this look. This is a vine called Wild Clematis, also known as Traveller's Joy or Old Man's Beard. And this particular vine sheds its bark naturally, like this look, you see it shedding its bark? Look at that, hang on, I'll just show you. Well, I've collected some, look at this. You see all that there? That is absolutely fantastic for fire. So, being an opportunist, and you always have to be an opportunist, especially in the world of bushcraft, is when you see resources like this, look, can you see that there? Look, it's just falling off naturally, look. Can you see it? So what I'm gonna do is take this home, look at that. It's amazing, look. Uh, look, so the wild clematis, old man's beard, traveller's joy, look at it. An endless supply of fire lighting material. And the, and the thing is, to do with this is dry it out, scrunch it up, and then keep some in your bag for fire. And this is what we're going to be doing on the bushcraft events coming up soon. Look at this, look, look, look. Wow. I cannot walk past and collect some of this. So there you go guys, a little short video on wild clematis, old man's beard, and they produce nice flower heads as well. But the moral of the story is, in the world of bushcraft, you've always got to keep your eyes open for these opportunities. And when you see them, collect them and stash them, store them away somewhere, carry some in your bag, and that way you've always got guaranteed fire. And the great thing with this one, Ian Waltham, if you're watching this, uh, the, the wood from Wild Camasas, it makes a really good uh, baseboard for friction fire, I believe. Ian, you'll, you'll know more than me on that, but look at that, it's just peeling off here. So these vines really are really good for fire, and you can weave it as well. As long as it's not rotten, you can weave it and make some good cordage with this. So many uses, but look at all that I've collected. So that's coming with me, and that's going to come on our bushcraft course, which is coming up soon, so I'm really looking forward to that. So there you go guys, the moral of the story is in the world of bushcraft or just walking around, always keep your eyes open for these opportunities and take them, take the opportunities. There's loads of it. Can you hear that male nut hatch up there? Spring is springing guys, it's nearly there. Anyway, the wild clematis, woo!